This month, we're celebrating something that is very important to a lot of people. March is National Reading Month. That's right. There are so many benefits to reading to a child. Mm -hmm. And of course, as we know, there are a lot of great reading events going on this month for you to take advantage of. Local museums, bookstores, and of course, our public libraries. And there's a huge effort where adults read to children in schools. Take a look. We are here in the heart of Grand Rapids Southwest Side in a school where a lot of students are bilingual. We've been invited in for March's Reading Month. We're talking to a kindergarten class today and we cannot wait to get started. <music> Rachel Ruiz and I work at the TV station. And my name is Rachel too. No way, give me five. All right. Rachel. What grade are you in? What grade is this class? Kindergarten. Kinder kindergarten? Kindergarten? Man, you guys look so big for kindergarten. Do you guys like to hear stories? Yeah. All right. Okay, this is called Alice the fairy. I'm a fairy. I'm not a permanent fairy. I'm a temporary fairy. You have to pass a lot of tests to be a permanent fairy. Can I say the books? Uh, Rapunzel. Mm -hmm. What else? Ariel. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Like Dora too? Yeah. What is it about books that's so exciting? What's so exciting about books? Um, I like the pictures. The pictures. I like the reading. I'm supposed to learn how to make clothes get off off the floor and dance around and just line up inside the closet. Your moms and dads probably to tell you to clean your rooms too, right? Yeah. That's what I tell my little girl too. I'll probably be a temporary fairy forever. The end. What happens at the end? What do you say? The end. That was a good book. Yeah. Did you guys like it? Yeah. Can we clap our hands? Yeah. Yay! We love March's Reading Month. We're here at Southwest Community Campus. Boy, Rachel, you have some new friends there. Yeah, they are so west. So adorable. I love being around little kids. Well, kids of all ages right. are amazing, but they are sponges, and they were so excited to talk mm -hmm. and learn and be imaginative and creative. It was such a pleasure to be able to go to that school where they're speaking Spanish and English in that classroom, reading in Spanish and English. Oh, yeah. Amazing young kids. You think of the uh, jump start to life these kids have because they're able to really fluently speak both languages, and you think of the opportunities, the doors that are going to be open to them 10, 20, 30 years from now as mm -hmm. our world continues to get to be a smaller place. And some of those young ones, Spanish is their first language, so reading to them helps especially so in developing those skills that are going to just grow for a lifetime. The Southwest Community Campus, they hold this event every March, inviting guest readers into the school. Of course, they have a large Hispanic population there. They have a wonderful lunch and reading sessions like the one you just saw. And if you needed any more motivation to read to you, your child or a child you know, we do know this. Reading to children helps improve their vocabulary, builds neurons in their growing brain, and improves language and motor skills. Oh, absolutely. It also helps you with your bond with your child, improving their memory, their social development, building imagination. I always loved this. When my kids were little and I'd be reading books, I'd say, okay, now I want you to close your eyes. And then I wanted them to imagine what the characters looked like yeah. in the books. Because I know that so many of the kids' books have great illustrations, but I wanted them to kind of imagine what that looked like. And the best book of all time, Cloudy with a Chance of Meatballs, which of course then <laughs> they a movie. did make into a movie, which I still refuse to see because I loved the book so much. But just to use your imagination, it really gives your kids a jump start on Which at the that point are we're making up our own stories. We'll all start the story saying there was a little girl going down the sidewalk and she saw a big 
And then it's fill in the blank. <laughs> nice. I think that's from reading books. You get oh, some vivid yeah. stories. I love that. So remember, <laughs> March is reading month, and so many mm -hmm. of us are going to be visiting classrooms all across West Michigan this month just to make sure that we take our commitment from Wood TV, Storm Team 8, and, of course, 8 West into your classroom. Yeah. I actually still have a couple spots left in my calendar, so if you're interested in having me come to your kid's classroom, just uh, send me an email, terry.debor at woodtv.com, and I'll see if I can You're going to end up in Jen's classroom. I, <laughs> I was in my daughter preschool yesterday too so yeah. it's the, good yeah get out there absolutely the eighth yeah. graders don't quite think, think mrs DeBoer is so cool <laughs> so maybe i could find a preschool class or a couple maybe of first or second graders to our school oh yeah yeah i always head down to plain wild star elementary that's yeah. one of my faves nice